the type of patients I see in my office, I see a wide range of patients. I see really eight to 98, which becomes really two to 108 was my oldest patient that I've had the uh, privilege of taking care of. Uh, with that, the majority of those are baby boomers. So what we're seeing is a lot of early presentation of arthritis, a lot of joint aches and pains that are caused by uh, weekend sport participation, coaching kids, little league teams, um, even rolling over wrong in bed at times can cause some of these things. So what we're working on is, is uh, not necessarily operative ways to treat these patients, but a lot of our, our technology and our focus is on conservative ways, trying to keep these people from the operating room if we can, trying to preserve their native anatomy, um, their native bone structure and joint structure without uh, an invasive surgery. And regarding the advancements in orthopedics, really over the last 10 years has been remarkable. I think we've exponentially added to our knowledge component. The technology has improved. It's made us better surgeons and really able to do less painful, less invasive surgery with our patients. Uh, one of the, the techniques uh, that we're doing now is a 30-year knee replacement. And before we would tell patients the best knee replacements last 15 to 20 years, that was the, the dogma. Um, and, and we try to get patients as old as possible. While we still do that, we have an option uh, for a lot of our younger arthritic patients now, which is an FDA approved knee uh, that is now marketed as a 30 year knee replacement. The wear characteristics are better. It's made of a, a zirconium implant and uh, a ceramic covering, which gives a better wear rate. And um, the studies in the lab are very promising as far as giving patients longer uh, longevity on the implant. So I was privileged enough to train under Dr. James Andrews in Birmingham, Alabama. He's an orthopedic surgeon that a lot of people may recognize from his uh, mentions on ESPN pretty much daily. Anytime a high caliber, high level athlete is injured, uh, he is usually the one taking care of them. We would see professional athletes uh, from NFL, NHL, NBA, Major League Baseball on a daily basis. Uh, with that, uh, as part of our fellowship program, we were able to work with him with the Washington Redskins, University of Alabama, and Jacksonville State. Um, coming out of fellowship, I accepted a position where I was the team orthopedic surgeon with Virginia Tech. I was with Virginia Tech for four years as their orthopedic surgeon. I also worked with Radford University, which is another smaller university in Virginia, as their orthopedic surgeon. So it really gave me a great university background. Uh, with that, I'm able to take that and bring that with me to West Michigan. Uh, we're building our high school level program and our high school outreach program like a university model. So instead of just the orthopedic surgeon possibly listen to the heart and lungs at a physical, we have primary care physicians, we have subspecialists in cardiology, general surgeons. We have a team of people that really work to keep our high school athletes healthy and safe. Um, and that was more of something that I brought with us or we were able to extrapolate out from the university setting. Some of my favorite surgeries to do, and one of the ones that uh, I became known for in Virginia was really minimally invasive arthroscopic rotator cuff surgery. That is one that we did a lot of research on in Birmingham with my training under Dr. James Andrews. Um, and we were able to uh, perfect our techniques to the point where uh, we were making less incisions, uh, a much quicker surgery for the patient and a much quicker recovery. The technology and the implants, previously patients uh, or surgeons were placing metal implants in patients, we no longer need to do that. One of the most rewarding things about being an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in sports medicine, shoulder, elbow, knee, is really seeing patients get back in the game. Whether that game is their competitions in a high school or collegiate level, whether it's their game in everyday life, these patients are coming to us in pain and we're able to see them improve very quickly with surgery. Uh, being a previous college and high school athlete, uh, orthopedics for me it was a way to stay involved in sports. I couldn't necessarily play the sports any longer, but I was able to stay involved uh, seeing these athletes and, and even weekend warriors get back into the competition. Mm -hmm.